वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड डिस्कशन ऑन पॉमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड प्रॉबिलिटी सो द फर्स्ट डिस्कशन आई वेंट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन probably with the third question now i'm going with the second question how many three digit numbers are possible using the digits 0 2 3 6 so that no digit is repeated more than once so i'm left with 0 2 3 6 and i'm going to make three digit numbers now what are the circles basically the circles are for places now <coughs> in this what will happen is 0236 zero, 0 can't be placed here because if i'm placing 0 and by chance i'm getting a number like 036 it is not a three digit number because this zero is insignificant there is no meaning now because if i will say 036 is a three digit number i can also say it's a four digit number it's a five digit number so zero can't be placed i'm left with 236 any one of that i can choose let me say i'm choosing three so this place can be filled up by any one of these 236 that is three ways once i chose three this place can be filled up by anything 026 So I'm left with another three choices. Let me say I used two here. So I'm left with another two choices: two and six. I'm mean, sorry, zero and six. That is two ways. Now I'll remind you that this is the one fundamental principle of counting that the whole things are based on. So I'll cross it. This is eighteen. Fine. So the basic rule of moving in these problems is whether i'll move from left to right or i'll move from right to left i will move from the restricted end basically meaning here zero can't be placed this is the restricted end so i will move from here i can't move i can use any one of the four digits in this then three digits or three digits like that this is not the way so I'll always move from the restricted end then this quest this kind of questions will be quite easier to you now if i'll give you this question how many three digit numbers are there basically meaning how many three digit numbers are possible okay let me bother the digits digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so as i told zero can't be placed here i'm moving from the restricted end so taking zero off i'm left with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are nine ways of filling this so let me say i used eight so now zero can be used so there are another nine goes of filling this now if i will use another one i'll be left with another eight ways This is eighty-one into eight. So this is six four eight. Now this question, I mean, this will be the answer if not more than once. I mean, the digits can't be repeated. No digit is can be repeated more than once. <coughs> Then this is the case. But the question that I was discussing was how many three-digit numbers are there. basically meaning how many are possible in that case what will happen is this place can be filled up by any number of digits other than 0 this place can be filled up by any one of the digits including 0 any one of the digits simply so i'll multiply this is 900 okay in how many ways poor people can stand in a queue in a ticket counter 
basically meaning that the ticket counter here that people are standing so in how many ways they can shuffle basically meaning B can come here C can come here and so on so I will again bother like that these are the places for them this place can be filled up by any one of these four people so this is by four ways this place if B is here he can't be here again a person can never stand on two different places so I'm left with another three persons three place three choices here so let me say C, A is here so I'm left with another two here I'm left with another one here 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 this is 24 is the answer another way of telling this is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 is 4 factorial so if I will have 5 people then it is 5 factorial if there are 3 then there is it's 3 factorial so 5 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 this is 120 so it's the second stage that I'm telling that you are bothering a formula I mean a, a direct approach that 5 means 5 factorial but I never come direct to any of the questions in palm distance combinations and probability if you are trying to run behind shortcuts you are killing your probability permutation combination standard thereby only things become tougher and tougher for people those who are running with short tricks in this it's based on fundamentals now this is the second go that I came the third go is also there there is a formula to this NPR is N factorial by N minus R factorial so here what I was doing is 5p5 this is 5 factorial by 5 minus 5 factorial this is 5 factorial by 0 factorial 5 factorial is 120 0 factorial is mathematically taken to be 1 this is 120 this is the third go of solving this problem first I discussed that I will go with fundamental principle of counting by, num by just making circles as places and I'll place the objects on this or the persons whatever you say so then I will cross second is I came to direct formula of 5 factorial third is a formula so this particular thing try to avoid using do not use direct formula and palm distance you may not understand the intrinsic of this or in other words many times you won't be able to understand the twist in the language is more practical oriented it's it's quite quite easy trust me please join me in my next video because I'm running short of time thanks for watching